So in this video, I'm going to talk about what endocrine and exocrine glands are. And so let's first start off by defining what a gland is. So right there it says, a gland by definition is a cell or an organ that secretes substances for use in the body or for elimination from the body. Anatomically, it's composed of epithelial tissue and a connective tissue framework and capsule. And so that might not make sense to you right now, but it'll make sense once you see a picture of it. And so now that we know what glands are, and I've shown you a picture below of the two different types of glands, let's start off by talking about exocrine glands. And so for exocrine glands, exocrine glands maintain contact with the body surface by a duct, which is an epithelial tube that just directs the secretions to the surface. And so as you can see down here, the exocrine gland, the chemicals produced by the gland is allowed to get to the surface and it doesn't always have to be skin surface. And so some examples of exocrine glands are, for example, your tear glands, your sweat glands, and mammary glands. And so the key thing you have to remember is that exocrine glands maintain contact with the body surface by a duct. So the key word there is a duct. Let me just underline that. And so now let's talk about what endocrine glands are. And so in contrast, endocrine glands do not have contact with the body surface or cavities which lead to the outside, which means essentially outside of the body. Additionally, endocrine glands do not have ducts. And finally, the most important thing for endocrine glands is that they secrete hormones directly into the blood. And these hormones function as chemical messengers and they have target cells somewhere else in the body and blood acts as the transportation. And so some places in your body where you find endocrine glands are, for example, your pituitary, your thyroid, and your adrenal glands are all endocrine because they secrete hormones directly into the blood. And then finally, some organs actually have both properties. So they have properties of endocrine and exocrine glands. So your liver, gonads, and the pancreas have both endocrine and exocrine functions. And so that pretty much sums it up for endocrine and exocrine glands. And I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a like and share it with your friends.